Okay, I'm a little late on this news, but better late than never. So, uh, Pundus recently got to share uh, some upcoming news for Star Trek Online. Since it was Thomas Maroney's birthday a few days ago, he got the all clear to uh, celebrate that by sharing something uh, coming to Star Trek Online, which is going to be another remaster for a for an older ship. This next one is going to be part of the Saber class family. As you can see here, this is you know, very much uh, clear of the uh, very similar to the Saber class. And uh, that's pretty much confirmed here. This is going to be the remaster of the Rapier class. The Rapier has been remastered into a Lost Era type starship. You know, the Lost Era is that vast uh, stretch of time between basically the just after the launch of the Enterprise B to just before the launch of the Enterprise D. So that would cover most of the adventures of like the Enterprise B and C. And honestly, I'm I'm kind of digging the uh, the design here. It's very clear. It's got uh, a lot of design elements that you'd see on like the Ambassador or the Narendra class. Uh, so it's got you know it's got the the early 24th century uh, nacelle grills, but they a little added detail in here uh, along the nacelle grills uh, to give it a little like mix of TMP vibe as well. Uh, but it's still got like the T uh, TNG style Bussard collectors as well as the uh, main deflector. But you know, it's also got the TMP era uh, iconography, uh, which was used well through the Lost Era, which is just the Delta with a uh, with a circle behind it. Whereas uh, other versions of the Delta either uh, had like the, like next gen, it had like the more oval shape behind it, like you know, similar to the combat badges, or uh, post next gen, uh, like in a DS9 and Voyager, uh, they just did away with the circle altogether, just used uh, the Delta, which the uh, Star Trek Online era ships have kept doing that as well. Except the uh, the post TNG stuff use a gold Delta. The uh, Star Trek Online stuff uses a, uh, a silver or white delta like this one. Some really cool detail on here, too. Like you can clearly see the phaser strips. Uh, the torpedo bays have been put under the bridge, which uh, means that's going to be a, uh, <laughs> be quite loud uh, on the bridge whenever those torpedo tubes fire. But whatever. I mean, where else would they put them, though? Uh, honestly, the uh, these... It's almost like the uh, pylons for the ship have been kind of integrated into the saucer section, sa saucer section, which I think is kind of cool. Um, kind of gives me a little bit of uh, like like if someone like completely pancaked the Edison a little bit. That, that's kind of the vibe that this thing gives me. Uh, this next image down here, this gives like a good comparison between the old version and the newer version. Uh, you can see the old version is much sharper, much blockier than the uh, uh, the new revamp that's going to be coming out. It's, it's really smoothed out a lot, and I honestly I really like that. Uh, you know, the some of these really old uh, early Star Trek Online designs, they're very blocky, they're very like you know, very aggressive looking, and it it's, it doesn't fit. Uh, the Starfleet uh, aesthetic all that well in a lot of cases and yeah this this is a huge improvement uh, that that they're giving it uh, the model uh, the updated model is being uh, who was this made by uh, this was done by virtuous uh, virtuous games as well as an ex cryptic developer uh, however they were not credited in this I might pester pundits about that later see if I can get the name uh, so I can credit them in the uh, uh, in the comments down below. But yeah, uh, yeah, no idea who specifically made this model, but it does look gorgeous. Here's some other before and after shots too. Again, it's it's like night and day with these uh, with these remasters. It's uh, you know you go from these really crude, really oh you know very blocky, very low poly models to these just absolutely fantastic updates. It's just it's. Uh, I, I love it when Star Trek Online gets the opportunity to do this. And honestly, I'm really surprised that we're seeing this so quickly after the uh, that we after the remasters that came out for the Aurora and the um, uh, what was the other Nova, uh, the Quasar, the uh, the two Nova variants. We got to see the Aurora be updated into a TMP era style version of the Nova class while the Quasar was updated into a Picard era style version of the Nova class. So, uh, yeah, clearly now we're seeing a uh, uh, this be the rapier being updated into like a lost era version of the Sabre. Um, and hopefully this means that there will be uh, other revamps coming along because there are two other versions of the Sabre class because uh, here's the rapier. But there's also the Yushan, which uh, has yet to get an update. And there's also the old Gladius which uh, could certainly use a touch-up as well. Now, I imagine we're only hearing about the Rapier right now because the, uh, the Rapier remaster, uh, it kind of leaked onto the uh, onto the console live server not that long ago, along with another ship that I'm not going to talk about just yet because we haven't seen any official uh, word about that yet, but I'm sure we'll be able to talk about that soon. But yeah, uh, right now we're just talking about the Rapier, and hopefully, yeah, we'll see uh, remasters for the other two variants as well, but so far, no word on those yet. Pundus' last post uh, gives a few more shots of 
the uh, of the rapier. You know, just these really nice shots to give you an idea of what the ship really is going to look like, as well as this mysterious shot. Uh, now, this clearly is not part of the model of the rapier, either the original or the remaster, and uh, it's kind of left us wondering. What is this? In fact, uh, a few people have asked this about this, and Pundus has been rather cryptic about it. I've seen a few theories, some saying that this could be a teaser for the upcoming episode. Uh, maybe it could be like some sort of like uh, planetary dome or something like that. Uh, but others are also theorizing that it could be uh, a teaser for yet another ship remaster. Uh, in fact, some are already teasing that it could be for this ship. Uh, let's get another look at that, because uh, this ship is... Uh, the Horizon class, uh, which is a variant of the Olympic class, which that's the USS Pasteur. And you can see one of the big distinct features of the Horizon class is that it had this uh, the, this sort of like holographic dome around the uh, the sphere section. Uh, and uh, it was it, I always thought it was kind of neat. But as you can see, this model has aged like crazy because, you know, it's uh, it's like 14 years old at this point. Actually, probably closer to 15. But yeah, uh, some are theorizing that this uh, dome uh, over here could be this dome, which would indicate that the uh, some of the Olympic uh, variants are also getting revamps sometime afterwards as well. So that would include uh, the Horizon, possibly the Hope, and maybe even the beta version of the Olympic class as well. Of course, this is all just, you know, guesswork and assumptions. We have no idea what this actually is, and we probably won't for some time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this could mean uh, a remaster for the Horizon, or this could be something else. This could be, uh, this could even be uh, linked to one of the other, uh, one of the other uh, Saber models. I mean, this could be a part of the, uh, the Yushan. I'm not really sure how they could incorporate this onto this model, but I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys in case anyone hasn't seen it yet already because the rapier is getting uh, a remaster which means that the uh other save the other saber revamps or the other saber variants are also probably getting revamps as well uh which honestly i'm really curious what that's going to look like like the uh the, since the rapier got turned into a uh uh, a, t a lost era type ship. I wonder what the other. T I mean, obviously the Gladius is going to stay, you know, pretty close to the what it looks like right now because this is meant to be like the uh, the Stow era version of the Saber class, or at least early Stow era, because this one would use th this one uses the uh, the Type Six hull, so this would end up being revamped to use the Odyssey hull. I'm wondering if this one will end up being like a TMP era ship because the nacelles on the Yushan are like really scream TMP era to me. So I wonder if this could end up being like a TMP era version of the Saber class. I think that could be that could be kind of cool. But yeah, like I said, all this is pretty much just, you know, me guessing at this point. Uh, we have no idea what those are going to be. Um, and honestly, we don't really know when this is going to be coming out. Uh, uh, Puntus did not give a release date. All we know is uh, it'll be coming soon. Uh, so yeah, I will link this thread in the video, uh, in the video's description, in case you guys want to check out these pictures for yourself, or you want to leave any comments, or, you know, uh, if you want to wish uh, Thomas a belated happy birthday, you, uh, you know, do any of that. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this rip here update. Like I said, I really think it's really I think it's really cool and uh, I'm really excited to see what else is going to be coming along with it because I'm I, again, I'm assuming that uh, the other two Saber variants will also be getting updates along with it. So it'd be cool to see what those look like. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. And while you're down there, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for new notifications. If you'd like to further support the channel, you can hit that join button to become a member or you can find the link to the merch store down below. Or if you're ever shopping on the Epic Game Store, be sure to use my Epic Creator Code STU1701. Any of those really help me out and i really do appreciate it either way though thank you so much for watching my name's Stu, and i will see you guys next time